Spoohoo. This is the second installment of the tag Vlogmas. I've already did the Wii for Voyage. You can check it out. I told you about my author's journey in this letter of this tag. And uh, now we do the rest of the letter or we'll see how far we get. I'm Joanne and Jan. I write web fiction. Check it out. L is for LGBTQ+, one of the books which helped me a lot to climb over a reading slump is Cushiel Start from Jacqueline Carey. I read around, I don't know, two or three years, nothing but fan fictions, but a ton of fan fiction. I was deeply fr frustrated with normal fiction, especially with the female heroines. I couldn't identify with them. I like strong female characters, but the heroines that were common in this time were the urban fantasy heroines, which were stronger than men, or so they took attributes we associate with men, like physical strengths, but attributed them to women. And this is totally all right, but it's not all right if every novel <laughs> is the same. And I was just fed up with it. I wanted to read about a heroine which didn't had the need to get superhuman strength and superhuman fighting powers to compete with men or to be a proper heroine. And this book, Cushiel Start, delivered a female lead that was great. Yeah, I mean, it's still one of my favorite female leads I've ever read. The protagonist, Fedre, pronunciation is open. It's spelled P-H-E and the E has something on top like the French do. Uh, D-R-E. Fedre. 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 She is the... She is marked by a god or an angel with the feature that pain feels like pleasure for her. And this book is definitely for audiences who can stomach a lot of sex and um, kinky sex and LGBTQ plus topics and polyamory. <laughs> yeah, just put it all in one book. <laughs> yeah. So Fedra is a prostitute and a nun. She is a whore and a saint at the same time. She's very pure, um, but works in the sex business is because it's not only sex business in this world, it's also mass. It's also worship. It's a while back that I read this book, so I don't know much about the plot anymore, but it was intrigue and political and yeah, there were action scenes as well, but Fitra did only a very, very tiny amount of fighting. It's a very subtle book with um, flowery, language, um, a bit antiquated language for uh, more opulence. I'm a very unsubtle kind of person, so what I say now, it's not literary, 
but more in that kind of direction way. I'm making a mess out of this. <laughs> when the bad guys came and tortures Phaedra, she is not like the usual strong female, oh, you will never break me and I fight back and I need no man. Uh, no, she's like, oh, torture, yes, give me more of it. <laughs> and I thought this was so refreshing. Yeah, refreshing was, is really the best word to describe this series because you get an MC like you never saw before. Yeah? I can promise you a lot of things um, of this book. There are a lot of great aspects to it, but the main aspects is if you're fed up with your current MCs and you want really an MC like you never read before, read Kushel Start. And it helped me to come back to regular reading, reading uh, books I didn't know the world inside and out. Uh, yeah, I still like web fiction. I don't read fan fiction anymore, but other kinds of web fiction. But it uh, was a trailblazer for me to come back to normal genre fiction because I really thought, I've read it all. I've read it all, yeah? You, you can't give me any more MCs I haven't read in one form or another. And then came Fedra. And the books I read after this had normal MCs, but it wasn't relevant. It was uh, more like a sorbet to clean the palate for the next issue on the menu. Good. Next letter. O for old timer. Yeah, the, the next book is another one which influenced me. I only read it once when I was a teenager, I think around 16 or 17 years old. And I did reread books often these times. But this book catapulted itself to one of my top 10 books and stayed there for a long while, but I only read it once. And I didn't reread it because it was such, such a magical experience that I was afraid that it will get lost through rereading it. The title is A Sportsman's Album of Sketches. There are multiple translations of it in, in English. The author is Iwan Turgenev. So if you find a book of Turgenev, something with outdoorsman or hunter or sketches or sportsman, then it's probably this book. Yeah, before I read this book, I read uh, children literature and young adult and crime a bit and much, much fantasy and sci-fi and adventures. So the classical stuff like Treasure Island and The Last, Mohik, Mohak, um, yeah, you know the stuff. Yeah? And you know the crime ones as well, like Miss Marple and the other English authors. And you might know the sci-fi Asimov, Stanislav Lev, all the usual stuff. But I never read a book like The Outdoors Man or The Sportsman. I should uh, decide for one. Uh, I call it Hunter because in German it's, it's a diary of a hunter. 
and um, I like this more than notes or I already forgot the other sketches. Yeah. So the Hunter book, it didn't have a plot. Yeah? And that was a novel experience for me to read a book without plot. And I loved it and I still love it. Nowadays, you would call it a slice of life novel. And slice of life is exactly one of the genres I like the most and one of the genres who is still so much underrepresented in the Western market. But you can read my story. It's a slice of life sci-fi story if you like to. The link is in the description below. Yeah, so my first encounter with Slice of Life was in Style Love. Those uh, short stories or sketches or vignettes in the Hunter book described the life in Russia in the mid of the, is the 18th or the 19th century? If it's 80s, 50 something, also it's around 80, 50 something, something. <laughs> but they drew such a vivid picture, especially of the characters. You felt like you met these people and you met them on their best and their worst day in life. I am sorry, it's around 25 years ago I read this book. I don't have any recollection anymore. I only remember this kind of magical feeling and I should reread it. Not only did it influence my love for the genre of Slice of Life, it also influenced my reading taste for the next years. I fell deep in the rabbit hole of Russian literature and I still like to read Russian authors. Yeah, they, they have some kind of cunning to them and directness and maybe you could even say brutality. It's not that kind of fiction Oh, we treat everyone with our satin clothes on. It's uh, they make diff decisions when drunk, and then the rest of the novel they have to straighten out the situation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, taste differs. I like it. Chi, gift. Yeah, please don't gift me books. I don't read books anymore. I don't read physical copies of books because I'm vain. <laughs> I should wear glasses, but they don't help me to see better, yeah? Because I'm kind of, uh, my eyesight is schizophrenic. <laughs> it's far-sighted and near-sighted at once in, in one eye because um, my natural inclination is uh, the one side, but then I have um, a Hornhautverkrümmung, a defect on the skin of the eye, which corrects it in the other direction. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. so I can wear glasses, but if I don't see any better with glasses, why should I wear glasses? Yeah? I mean, I see maybe a tiny bit better with them, but pff, yeah. so I read um, Kindle on my laptop, on my phone. I don't have a reader. Yeah, but um, that's great. I can raise 
the letters till they are this big and I can read them without problems. But I've got problems with my thumb when I read at a phone because, you know, one word a page uh, gives my thumb a good workout <laughs> with a lump. <laughs> yeah. We all have our first world problems. So don't give me books. Um, some of my friends gifted me books in the past years, but there were uh, vanity books. And a uh, vanity book is a book which looks great in your shelf, but you never read it. It was like a compendium of Buffy background information, great with a shiny cover. And then I got a cooking book, which I never opened. These books look great in my bookshelf. And if you want to give me a book just for it being decorative, as a decorative element, that's all right. If you want me to read it, I'm sorry, I can't read uh, physical books anymore and uh, I don't want to. Um, I'm, I'm on a mission to lose weight, yeah? And to lose weight by actually losing the weight, losing the body fat is pretty hard, yeah? So I thought, hmm, why not lose the weight in accessories? I've got no earrings, I've got no rings, I've got no bracelets, no watch. Uh, I have no books in my backpack. I have a very thin backpack and I, I lost three or four pounds easily <laughs> without losing <laughs> any body fat. So, um, if you want to lose weight without influencing the scales, great way. Uh, don't read any physical books anymore. Uh, read it on your mobile phone and you are a few grams lighter. <laughs> I'll buy it. Chocolate cake. Yeah, I think this video is long enough. We did uh, three letters. So the last three letters will come soon. Thanks to Britta Böhler and the Book Maniac for suggesting this tag. Bye bye.